What's up? What's up? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome, welcome. As you know, grab your vices, chill out, and let's get straight to this week's episode twelve of Straightforward with Miss B, alongside my guest co-host AG. What's up, AG? What it do? What it do? Man, 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 man. The week has been definitely on fire uh, with this Will Smith. Um, and Chris Rock's situation, man. But before we get into that, because that's what the episode is going to be about, um, how was your week? Oh, it was pretty good. It's been pretty good so far. This weekend, we, we had the grandkids. You know, I got the two beautiful grandkids in the world now. You know that, right? Yes. And we, we had the pleasure of keeping them. And, man. They're growing so fast. <laughs> that sound like they <laughs> sound like they were just running wild and crazy, huh? Oh yeah, we that's what we do. We let them run wild and crazy. Oh gosh, do. oh gosh. Yeah, well, you know, we be looking for their parents. <laughs> yeah, grandparents are very, very. I always tell people, grandparents are extremely special people, um, and they have a huge impact on kids' lives. And so I know that you are, you know, being the best ba- grandparent that you can be, for sure. Oh yeah. Cause don't definitely don't be one of those, you know, mean grandpa <laughs> mean grandparents. <laughs> oh yeah, you got to be it all. You got to be mean, and you got to be, <clears throat> you got to do it all. You can't just not be a good grandparent where you just gonna. Like I said this week, they ran all around. Yeah, we we let it happen, but next week might not be like that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so we just like bing ling ling ling. <laughs> what is that? Hurt <laughs> some over the broke some or something. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> and you go in there, they looking crazy with their eyes wide open. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh goodness. Yeah. yeah. So I didn't really get into what I got into this past week. Just working hard. Um, catching up on some, you know, just some work, tedious work and stuff like that. Ready for, you know, just ready for the weekend. And I was just, in, I was enjoying, honestly, all the hoopla that was going on online uh, with this uh, Will Smith thing, man. Oh, yeah. No case. So I'm just scrolling. What was that? So the Oscars came on on Sunday. Um, yeah, I'm just sitting, watching. You know, I was watching. Uh, well, I don't watch TV, but I was probably watching you something on Netflix. <laughs> I definitely wasn't watching the Oscars. But then all of a sudden, I get on Twitter, and I start seeing shit just trending. And then I came across a video <laughs> that showed the, you know, showed the whole um, thing as it happened, man. And that shit. All I could say was, "Oh my God!" That was the first, literally the first thing came out of my mouth. <laughs> and then, is this is this real? <laughs> is this goddamn real? Yes, because I, you know, everybody was, uh, you know, first it caught everybody off guard. Everybody was like, "This can't be real. This got to be a comedy bit." You know that they they mm-hmm. plan to do maybe Will Packer, uh, you know the African American um director was uh had planned this since this was his first time ever directing the Oscars, so it was like I'm like, is this part of Will Smith plan? I mean, we, uh, Will Packer's plan. <laughs> uh, I wish it would be. Man, it, like it was a mess, though. But uh, let me just explain real quick to the people who may have been living under a rock and do not know what we're talking about. So the Oscars was going on this weekend. Everybody knows that the Oscars um, is a very uh, prestigious um, Hollywood event where um, the top elite at uh, excuse me actors and actresses and they all come out along with um big film production crews um uh, for this night where everybody um is awarded the best talent of the previous year whether it's uh in film is um rewarded and so will smith was there along with his wife jada pinkett smith 
And uh, Will was up for the film um, King Richard um, to win his first Oscar. Um, he did eventually. He did win an Oscar um, that evening. However, you know, prior to him, except <laughs> prior to him getting his award, uh, comedian Chris Rock, who is very well known, well liked, he's been around for years. He's established, very, very established, very wealthy as well was on stage doing his bit because he hosted the Oscars. And during his bit, he made a comment in regards to um, Jada Pinkett Smith um, and her uh, suffering from alopecia and basically made reference to her uh, kind of resembling um, G.I. What is it? G.I. Jane, um, the character from G.I. Jane, which also mm -hmm. sported a ball ball head. For some reason, you know, which we'll talk about in a minute, that joke did not sit right with um, Will Smith as they were actually, they were sitting front row. And Will just got up out of his seat and he quickly walked up to Chris Rock and he just, he, he slapped, he slapped the dog shit out of Chris Rock. I mean, he put five fingers to the face. Yeah, man. On Chris Rock. And that's a shame. He slapped the shit out of Chris Rock. Kudos to Chris Rock, though, for he tried his, he kept his composure and yeah. tried to keep the show. <laughs> that's what made me know it was real. Because mm -hmm. he was like, <clears throat> like he bit his tongue a couple of times and was like, <laughs> he thought about it, like, should I do something? Uh, I can't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause, um, yeah, he kept it classy, that's for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He kept it classy, but you know, with that, so right immediately after the thing happened, after he slapped him, he walked back to his seat. When he got to his seat, and Chris Rock was kind of quickly, you know, keeping his composure. It looks like he was thinking in his head, okay, let me just continue with the jokes. Um, Will Smith sat in his seat, and then he just blurted out, like, keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Deep mouth. And then he said it again. <laughs> Keep my wife day out your bleep mouth. Mouth. Now that's what he should have did in the beginning. I mean, he shouldn't have probably did that either, though. You know, <laughs> if he was gonna do anything, I say. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? If he was gonna do anything, that's what he should. The lesser of the two evils, basically. Yeah. Right. So. After happen, you could literally look in the audience and people. Some people kind of key key keying, they giggling because they think it's part of the act, maybe, you know. And then right. you see other people confused, and then you see other people with a shocked, you know, got like a shocked damn impression on their face. So it was like everybody just had a different expression going on in their face. Then. Will Smith, you can see Will Smith's PR run over to him um, to talk. Then they showed a clip of Tyler Perry and Denzel Washington coming up to Will Smith. You know, that whole brotherly love thing, probably asking him, what the fuck, you know, man, what you doing, blah, 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 this career suicide, you know, saying all this yeah. shit. So Twitter was on fire. It's It's been on fire all week. And the debate is whether he was taken up for his wife or did he just do it? Out of impulse. Right. And to me, you had plenty of chances in your life to stand up for your wife <laughs> and to do it right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it can't be you were standing up for your wife. I know you was laughing at the joke, but then he looked over there at Jada and she wasn't laughing at all, you know. So and I see... That's probably what did it. that triggered him. I think that that's what triggered it. That's tri That's what triggered it, for sure. Yeah. So, so you think Will was on something, or do you think? Because I didn't hear plenty of rumors for you know how people just trying to put stuff together that she might be dying, she might have cancer, and might be dying. You know. All well, that that's conspiracy, but I mean, yeah, that's just. I, I we don't know for sure because I I'm not gonna right. sit here and just flat out say, no, you know she she can't be going through that. 
Um, but because, you know, it, it alopecia itself is a thing. It's a real live thing. Lots of women, you know, suffer from it. Um, you know, either alopecia or they may suffer from psoriasis. Um, like Kim Kardashian, she suffers from psoriasis. Psoriasis per se doesn't, you know, have your hair fall out, but alopecia does. Um, so it's like women, women, we do have to battle certain things like that. And, you know, for us, our hair is a, is if, if not the biggest, probably, you know, one of the main top priorities, um, of who our whole self being is. That's part of us, part of our essence. We take, we take our hair extremely seriously. Even, you know, speaking of black women in particular, even Chris Rock. Chris Rock made a film about hair, uh, about black hair, exploring what that is. This was years ago. So for Chris Rock, you know, of course, it's been years past. He... He may have already, he may have just not even, definitely ain't thinking about that hair movie he did, you know, a long time ago. But for some reason, my my issue was we don't know what happened. I mean, we don't know the reason. However, I think that it could have been just a buildup of several things. Um, Chris Rock in 2018, I believe. Um, he made a joke at the Oscars again, hosting it. He made a joke about Jada, you know, petitioning against the Oscars. She was boycotting against the Oscars. He made a joke there. Just saw some article. Um, I didn't get a chance to read through it. Uh, but the headline basically, basically stated that Chris Rock has been allegedly making, like, comedy bits about, you know, Jada since, like, way back to the 1990s. So... So do you think this was predetermined? Like he already knew if he said something, go slap him. It could be. You know? Not slap, but maybe he just could know that, hey, it may ruffles, ruffle feathers in some instance. <clears throat> and we don't know who even came up. You know, some people saying Chris Rock writes his own, uh, you know, his own lines for the Oscars. Yeah, the freestyle, that one, though. But then... It could have been pre-written jokes already that was given to him from the Oscar writer staff that did the jokes. I don't know about that one, because you don't know she coming in there with no bald head, dude. Because the main thing... She had this... She been rocking his bald head, though, for at least about a couple of weeks. But he was talking about the other um, contestant in the Oscars. Who Will Smith was going about? Mm-hmm. He was talking about him and his wife first. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? He said a joke about him and his wife, and then he went to Will and his wife. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. So my thing is the reason why I'm just saying it had to be something in stream to make that man get up and go slap that man like that on national TV. You know, you risking right. your whole career. Right, and and with that, we don't know. Oh, don't know. Yeah, we don't know what it was, but apparently something at that very instant triggered him when he looked at his wife after that joke was, joke was say, said, and then she was not laughing. She had the mean, just a stern face look. That triggered him. I mean, Chris, I mean, not Chris Rock. Keep getting his man messed up. Will Smith has been dealing with, I'll say within the last year and a half, just when it comes to the media and his relationship with Jada always being brought up, him being called, you know, called a wimp, you know what I mean, and all of that. You know, remember he was crying before on Red Tape Talk. You know, just a lot of stuff. Then the information about August Alcina and the entanglement thing. So Will Smith has been going through it for the last year and a half, two years, when it comes to just – not necessarily negative press out there about him, but it's just, you know, just things that didn't necessarily just put him in the best light. And I mean, that could, that could have added on to whatever his internal, um, you know, his internal traumas and shit he's dealing with and all of it just exploded. 
people explode like that all the time, just out of nowhere. Right, right. You know, you just never know. You never know when your moment gonna be. You might have a moment to where it just take you just so far out of your normal character that you know something not necessarily something bad like this may happen or something very tragic will happen but it could be just something that you could do all of a sudden spontaneously out of the blue that's totally different from what your everyday you know life is oh yeah so he's gonna have to start doing all kind of mental evaluations and Mm-hmm. Yeah, he definitely need he definitely need one of those. And I know they they supposed to be promoting a new episode of uh Red Table Talk. He I was looking at what was I looking at? Maybe Joe Joe Button podcast today. Or I was listening to somebody talk about it and they made a good point. Was like, man, stop going you apparently you've been coming on to the Red Table Talk with your wife discussing your, you know, your family internal behind closed doors, shit that's going on with y'all. But apparently you're not really, he's not really getting the mental, you know, just the therapy and the mental help, psychological help that he need. He need to go to a therapist. He need to get his ass off the red table talk. And go to some professionals. Oh, <laughs> go to some real to go professionals. <laughs> he's gonna have to go now. He ain't gonna have no choice. Cause the way these people are trying to um I've been listening to different people, man, and, and some of these people are trying to flip this thing. Mm-hmm. You feel know I me? Mean? And they like should comedians be aware, I mean, beware of people coming out the audience attacking them now. You know? Right. Yeah the comedians and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, they make a good point. You know, Amy Schumer came out talking about she she was traumatized by the event. Wanda Sykes, comedian, came out talking about she was traumatized about about the mm-hmm. event. So it's just having it just having these various effects on people. Um the Oscars themselves um did they made a statement also. Um Will uh Will made a statement Let me just read a little bit about his statement here. Um, Basically, violence in all of its forms is poisonous and destructive. Um, Smith wrote in a statement he posted on social media Monday night, and this isn't from an article from Rolling Stone. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are a part of the job, but a joke about Jada Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear, and I reacted emotionally. So that's a part of his apology. And then um, okay, Jada Smith okay, apologized as well. That, I'm sorry, but I interrupt But my thing with that, who knew Jada? Who had that disease? Nobody she, really yes, we that. did know. She talked about know. it <laughs> because you don't really be on in it on the internet. She done talked I'm about it before. So I might, Chris Rock might be like me. No, and this he is. didn't know. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. So Jada you Pinkett this has man been said this, knowing that this woman yes is suffering from the disease. He can act like he didn't know, but he knew. Whoever wrote the joke knew. Jada Pinkett started losing her hair, maybe like two, three years ago, maybe four, five years ago, and she talked about it then. She let the world know, hey, I'm suffering from alopecia, and I'm, I lost my hair, and she had went bald. Then her hair started growing back, and then it looks like, yeah, I guess, you know, alopecia is still affecting her now or whatever, and she went back bald again. And that's not necessarily true because I read an article where she said, Mm-hmm. She always wanted to wear her hair like that because she was only wearing her hair long and curly because that's what the industry wanted. And then she finally got enough courage to start telling them people, mm-hmm. no, she going to wear her hair how she wanted to wear it. Yeah, but that may be how she felt years ago, but now she don't have a choice. Her hair has fell out because of alopecia. 
So for people out there that think alopecia is not a real thing, it is a real thing. You need to Google it. But it is a medical condition that affects the scalp. <clears throat> It's so not just it's not just women. Men suffer from alopecia as well. You may have kids suffering from alopecia as well. But yeah, she has been dealing battling this for quite some time. And like I said, whoever wrote the joke for Chris Rock knew about it. Because if they didn't know about it, they would not have put the joke in. So you think this was a joke though? This wasn't a freestyle. This was a a pre-written joke. This was a pre-written joke to write to some degree. I mean, Chris Rock is a professional. He can make a pre-written joke sound as if it's something that he's freestyling, coming right. off the dome of the head and, you know, right in that moment while standing on stage. No, that's not how, you know. Mm. But... Um, back to the point, I mean, back to... <sighs> Whether he's defending his wife or because I think my opinion is this. I feel like Will Smith had, um, I mean, I feel like Will Smith um, had the right to defend his wife. Um, he acted clearly on impulse it was not nothing premeditated saying hey i'm supposed to win this oscar man we gonna you know we gonna go in here and we gonna i'm gonna just do what i do first thing somebody say about my wife i'm gonna just slap, slap the shit out of <laughs> i don't think that's what happened i truly think that this man had reached a boiling point um like you said when it comes to certain things that's been said he been dealing with so much f with people coming at him well, I guess when you know when it's come when it's about his wife or maybe even his kids, even if somebody would have said something about Willow and uh, Jaden and the other boy, he may have snapped then too. So it's, it's certain things that you don't you know people should necessarily play with. Not saying that a joke is just a joke, you know, it's part of what comes with the territory. But I think that because it has not been, this wasn't the first. First and only joke ever said about Chris Rock. I mean, said from Chris Rock about Jada. I think that just added, you know, fuel to the fire um, there. Do I think that he should have slapped him um, on stage on live television? Well, it was live, but kind of pre-recorded television. No, I don't think he should have done that. I think as a man who has been establishing his career for over, what, 30 years, um, and he's well-respected in the industry um, as an actor as well, and he always talks about, he, he's so motivational. Like, if you ever just listen to Will Smith, he's always talking about just motivating yourself and how to, you know, push through in life. So for this this type of thing to happen, you know, it definitely came to a surprise for a lot of people. Um, but and he, he should have had some restraint. He definitely should have had some restraint. Maybe, maybe after Chris Rock got off stage after saying a joke, uh, maybe he could have met him backstage and slapped him there or met, met him at one of the Oscar after parties and, you know, got into it with the dude there. But I think that just, it was just awful to kind of see it live like that in front of all of his peers being, you know, and being such a well-respected person um, in Hollywood. And how do you feel about him messing up the, uh, what's the guy's <coughs> name, whose first Oscar, he was producing the Oscars? He messed his Oscars up, you know? Yeah, Will, uh, Will Packer, um, uh, yeah, from FAMU. Shout out to the HBCU. Shout out to Alabama State as well. Um, uh, Will Packer, this was his first. He's a, you know, film producer, director. This was his first time um, doing the Oscars. Um, so Will Packer did make a statement prior to the Oscars saying, hey, you know, I'm trying to make this Oscars be something totally different um, that what, you know, the world and everybody who loves films is used to seeing. He's, 
you know, I guess he was brought in to kind of add some spice because the viewership of the Oscars had been, you know, just going downhill over the years. You know, people don't really watch the Oscars like it like that anymore. Um, so, you know, Will Packer was brought in to kind of spruce things up and make it spicy a little bit. Um, I don't think, he, like I said, I don't think he un- he knew that something like this was going to happen during his uh thing. But what I do hope is that it does not, you know, tarnish him. I hope the Academy does not think that Will Packer, you know, has something to do with this just, just because he's black. Um, and I hope he gets the, you know, he it was a very good show outside of that incident. Um, I hope he gets the opportunity to, you know, produce more um, Oscar specials, you know, for us. Okay. And now. <laughs> Don't be trying to quiz me, man. <laughs> hey, no, no, you just said. Okay. You know, just, I'm gonna put myself to Chris Rock's shoes. Mm-hmm. You know talking to the phone. Talking to the phone. Yeah, we got to put ourselves in, in in Chris Rock now. We got to see what how he's thinking now. After after he say the joke and he gets slapped, and um, Steve Harvey called the move that um. Will Smith did. He did it a high. He said it was a Hollywood move, cause he knew if he did it, mm-hmm. Chris Rock wouldn't be able to do nothing. What you mean? Oh, Chris because Smith it was Smith. right there on the spot. Right, which I don't really agree with, cause he could have done something if he wanted to. Yeah, he know? could have. Yeah, he could have slapped the man back or jumped on his back when he was walking. Oh, yeah, around. they could have recently got the fight up there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Cause you don't never know how that's. You know, you don't never know how that other man, once you slap him, what he going to do. Yeah. And he held his composure because I'm looking for him to, because it looked like he thought about it, but then he was like, nah, I ain't going to do it. Like, I'm just going to, mm-hmm. uh, Will Smith just slapped the hell out of me. It's going to be the funniest day in television ever. You know what I'm saying? Right. So. Yeah, I mean, Chris Rock, uh, Chris Rock has not come out with a formal, uh, statement he basically at his uh show i guess he had a show last night i think um he just stated to the audience that you know he really didn't come there to talk about what happened um because he's still processing processing it in his head um but he said that eventually he will come and speak out about it you know um, at some point um and i kind of feel you know I feel a little bad for Chris Rock. I like Chris Rock as well as a comedian. Um, I feel kind of bad, but, you know, Chris Rock is one of those comedians that's been around so long. Uh, He has a lot of peers in in Hollywood. He's, uh, you know, how can I say this? (laughs) You would see Chris Rock, you know, kind of hanging out more with, like, Jerry Seinfeld. Um, Adam Sandler, the like artist. you, yeah, you don't really see Chris Rock hanging out with like the black folks, like you see Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle, you might see him out side with T.I. or you know, or Kevin Hart, you know. Chris Rock mm-hmm. just he's on the other side of the fence. Um, you know, in the past he have been accused as well for you know kind of acting a little coonery. Um, so. I think that's another reason why, too, when it comes to the black community, you kind of see, you you see these opinions just kind of 50-50 on the situation because you have people that's like, man, you know, they have these feelings already about Chris Rock. um, And then, you know, Will Smith will be considered more for the people, I guess, you know, visibly for the people. Um, so I, I hate it for Chris Rock. Um, I'm glad that he didn't press charges. Who knows oh, if he's going to try to sue. Yeah, I don't that's know if he's going to sue. If I didn't slap your head back, you definitely going to get some charges out of you. I don't give a damn. I mean, something's going to happen to you. Really? Yeah, I don't yeah, know. If it was me. If it was me. Mm-hmm. You know, if I couldn't do nothing back to you physically, we prosecute and we and we suing, we doing it all. Oh gosh! Oh yeah, it's getting got down. Mm-hmm. You won't do that no more. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We um, yeah, that's something you won't do no more. We are gonna make sure. At least not to me. Exactly. 
<laughs> yeah, you might do it to somebody else, but you won't do it again to me. So that's uh, how I feel about it. If I ain't got, if I can't slap you back or palm you back, finish. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna put them. I'm putting them white face on me. Right, right. Now, when we talk about just Will Smith per se and just his career going forward, so. As we know, the Oscar committee, um, the Academy, they are um, basically having their sit-down talks about this matter. They're trying to see what's the best, you know, ramifications that Will Smith, you know, should ensue after this incident. Should he get his Oscar taken that he won? Or, you know, should he never be invited back to the Oscars ever again, you know, but allow him to keep this one win that he has. Um, so, you know, everybody's just kind of waiting to see exactly what the final, I guess, ruling um, from the Academy themselves is going to be. But I came across rapper, the game. Um, he goes by Los Angeles confidential on Instagram and Twitter. Um, but he had this an statement to say, and I thought it was very interesting. So let me run through it real quick. He said um, they didn't even want to give it to him in the first place, uh, meaning they didn't want to give Will Smith the Oscar in the first place. Um, He acted off of impulse and imposed a slap down out of frustration and embarrassment on behalf of his wife. Most people with opinions on the situation don't have a committed relationship, let alone a marriage for over 20 years, to weigh against his feelings in the matter. He's human, and comedy is not always an excuse to publicly humiliate people, especially while sitting front and center. Although violence anywhere is and should always be depicted in a negative light, This was a little ass slap in defense of a woman battling a very delicate health issue. I'll close by saying they don't even want us to be equal, never have, and they never will. This fool, Alec Baldwin, if we remember, he took a woman's life while on set and got sympathy from the same Hollywood that is trying to condemn one of our greatest actors in history. It just so happens that he's black. Harvey Weinstein didn't have to forfeit any accolades or awards. And even Roman Poliski was guilty of having sex with a minor and then vanished. He became a fugitive and was still given an award. Unrelated to Hollywood, but still an example of white privilege, Kyle, whatever the fuck his name is, killed people purposely (laughs) and didn't get a single day in prison. But y'all investigating a pimp slap? Fuck out of here. For real, for real. We ain't gonna never wake up. And really behind closed doors, they are all laughing at our black ass. Cause lo and behold, they probably wrote the joke in Chris's uh, prompter and set them both up. Oh, and a hundred years after Emmett Till's gruesome hanging, the now president signs an anti-lynching law. So what the, what that mean for the other 100,000 plus lynchings done before then and along the way? And he put question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, they weren't illegal to y'all. Man, stop expecting them to ever view us as humans too. We way too nice. N- Notice how we got billionaire black folks and can't just come together and create other bigger platforms in addition to what we already have that really give us the true glory we deserve. Maybe next lifetime. And then he he basically tagged Will Smith in the post. How you feel about that? Why he ain't tag Chris Rock? You're a part of it too, shit. Yeah. Not, it ain't one sided. Well, he's def- right. He right about his being, you know what I'm saying? About, they not going to take his Oscar. You because think? he won the Oscar. They can't take something that you won. Yeah, he already did that. the work, basically. Right. Mm-hmm. I can see him putting him on a band for a year or two. Or yeah. However long, I can see that. Mm-hmm. But they can't take it though. They can't take some yarn. 
for real. I don't want to see that happen. Right. And then, yeah, like in the game said in his post, which kind of I agree, just looking at the overall grand scheme of things, when, you know, the white individuals, he kept saying them. He wanted to flat out and say who he was talking about, but we all know he's speaking on white people. When people such as the Harvey Weinsteins, Roman Polinskis, the Alec Baldwins, you know, when they do, when they do crimes and, you know, just things that's very disgusting and it's almost like they just get, you know, a little small slap on the hand and they go on by their merry way. Uh, but, you know, when it comes to black people, African Americans, and something happened, it's it's almost like we get so, you know, vilified. So why are we as black people mm-hmm. the ones that want to do stuff like this out in the public eye? Why? Well, like I said, that's part of that's part of Will Smith's, you know. Uh, therapy sessions. The, therapy yeah, says we got to figure out why he did that. Yeah, I'm just saying we compare it to all the what the mother people did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm doing. I'm comparing to what Harvey Weinstein and all the mother people you name. Mm-hmm. They didn't do it at the Oscars. Yeah, they <laughs> did it behind closed doors. I mean, I get your point in that. Maybe that. I mean, maybe that's just part of part of our problem as well. You know, oh, do, when black ahead, folks, you yeah, know, that's part of our problem as well. Maybe as 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 black people, that oftentimes we always, uh, it's it's almost like we may like the spotlight, I guess, in a certain degree. You know, when we, so to me, when we I'm do, gonna say, you gonna let me finish my point? <laughs> How you gonna ask a question? I let me finish my point. So I'm not asking no more questions. Why you said that? <laughs> <laughs> but you just asked a question. I'm trying to explain, but you not let me answer. <laughs> you finished. Well, I forget what I want to say. Well, shit, you should have said it before you asked that question. <laughs> so what I want to say is... And you still not going to let me finish. <laughs> <laughs> so let me write my question. Oh, he about to get <laughs> fired, y'all. <laughs> let me write what I want to say down. So you, go on, finish me. Okay. No, what I'm saying is... <laughs> And I would, you know, not to get too deep, deep with it or whatever. You know, when it comes to African-Americans and blacks, we've always been the ones on stage, center stage, being that, you know, uh, that entertainment, you know, that not a court gesture, but to put it in that sense. But, you know, we've always been those people that kind of grab the spot spotlight you know, gravitated to the spotlight, having the spotlight shine on them, you know, maybe due to, you know, just years of oppression, you know, and finally thinking that we have a certain level of say-so and freedom to do as we want. Um, And maybe, you know, because if you think of this generation, you know, our generation up until now, it's all about bling bling. It's all about flash. It's all about how you can flex in front of people. We want to be noticed, you know, for those things, you know what I'm saying? So maybe right. to a certain degree, the reason why all of our uh, quote unquote, not failures, but just things that we do that, that other people may deem as being bad or whatnot is done in the light or in front of cameras or in front of the public for people to see is because that's just, that has become maybe just part of our, our nature when it comes to, entertainment and stuff of that you know stuff of that kind and then you know and then the other people on the other side of the fence the caucasians may choose to do their dirt behind closed doors um because they you know they they don't want to they don't need necessarily i'm gonna say need or but want the spotlight to that degree you know and they rather just keep it keep their dirty deeds you know behind closed doors okay now you can with that being said, mm-hmm. I think this whole Will Smith situation has set us back as a race because he did it in the public eye. Mm-hmm. I like mean, set us back to where? Like, I'm just saying, you just said 
they do their stuff behind closed doors. When we coming out doing stuff in the public eye, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Getting them to talk about, it. you know what I'm saying? Us right? as a race. Right. You know, and, and that situation itself, that's what I'm saying. That hurts us as a race. This hurt, this will hurt us as a race. You know, mm-hmm. it not only will hurt Will Smith, it's going to hurt us as a race. But how? Also. How? Just because they could talk something for them to talk about. So how does that I, hurt I, us, I, though? Because they're going to group us all together. They're going to group us with him. They're going to group well, us I mean, they gonna that's, that's, us. They, they gonna that's, that ain't together. nothing new, though. You act well, like he's hurt us for a race. They've been doing that. <laughs> Well, it's gonna set us back because if we if we was taking a step forward, mm-hmm. it's, it's ten steps backwards. Well, you know, if it does affect our race, it I would is. agree. I would agree with uh, the game. We got to start taking our little platforms that we have. Revolt TV over there with Diddy. We got well, BT is white on by Viacom, but. It's something. We got the Tyler Perry's. We got the Will Packers. We got Bounce TV. You know, we have a couple of little networks that we can use. We got Byron Allen who be trying to buy up all the networks and stuff. We have individuals within our race that has the capital. They have the financial, you know, capabilities. You know, we can try to get Oprah back on our side. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got people that can make some shit shake and it's time for us to use our resources that we have to create our own platforms, have our own Oscars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we can go on there and slap some shit out of somebody on our own shit. I mean, I guess if that's if that's what you want to do that night, (laughs) but at least you can, but at least you can say, Hey man, he slapped the shit out the, out the revolt awards. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Yeah, at least it's on our shit. We might have been watching it. Right. <laughs> we might have saw that shit not. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. But mm-hmm. I don't know. Well, we're gonna be watching and see what trans uh uh trans uh I don't know what's Uh, transpires that's the word i'm looking for (laughs) we hope we watch to see what transpire we want to you know see what the academy is going to do um we'll see what happens between will and chris i hope these brothers can definitely do a sit down it don't have to be no public you know public sit down with gail king or oprah or somebody you guys just need to sit down y'all need to talk through this um both of y'all i mean Chris Rock has talked about in the past, he deals with mental issues. So maybe that's why he, you know, just taking time to process it as well. Cause he, he, he had to battle it through his own brain also, you know, along with Will Smith, both of those brothers have been in this crazy industry for a very long time. I'm sure they done seen things. I'm sure they done done things um, that has affected them, you know, along with maybe their childhood, they could have suffered childhood, uh, traumas as as well. And that's something that, you know, black men, y'all need to stop being afraid and black women. We all need to stop being afraid of going to see therapists. We all need to stop trying to play it off and and laugh it off. Like, Hey, ain't nothing wrong with him. Oh, that's just my crazy cousin Larry, you know, shit like that. We got to stop doing it. Cause people, people out, out here these days, they snapping. Men's killing girlfriends, vice versa. Women killing kids, killing their own kids and babies, putting them in microwaves and crazy shit like that. People are losing their minds out here. So we got to get help, man. And we also got to, we got to understand it also from Jada's point of view. Do you think she's mad with Will Smith for doing that or, you know? If they relationship on the well, we I the mean breaks. maybe, but if they they hopefully they don't get a divorce. I don't think they on the breaks. I mean, not if they they you know they've already set what the standard of what their marriage is. Um, I don't think they're ever getting divorced because they are already kind of free to do themselves within the marriage. So, but you know we'll see on the red table talk. Whenever that come out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. So let us get ready to wrap it up, you guys. Aww. You know how we do around this time. You know. 
So definitely everybody um, follow us as we close out. This was a full Will Smith for Chris Rock episode. Uh, we're coming back next week with another episode for you. Um, but until then, definitely follow us on all platforms. STR8, FWD with Miss B. On all streaming platforms, Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, Audible. We're just everywhere. And follow us on YouTube as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share it. You know, do all that. All of that helps us. And uh want to say bye-bye. And if anybody needs it, AG love you and send you a hug. Oh, child. <laughs> anyway. All right, y'all. Till next time.